Are you looking for some leadership advice? Today I'm here with Susan Stewart, CEO of SWBC Mortgage, and she's going to give us some tips that we can use every day. Welcome, Susan. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. I am so happy to have you. Women have told me time and time again, those that work with you, that you are the best person to work for. So I thought, who better to have here for leadership tips? Can you describe your leadership style? Um, you know, I would say that my leadership style, it's funny because it's, it's um, kind of a play on this, this empower, but I really do believe in empowering people I work with. Mm -hmm. I learned really young as a very young manager that you cannot do it on your own and that the smartest thing you can do is really surround yourself with smart people, let them do their jobs and really stay out of their way. And so I think that's a critical component of leadership. If you want to advance and develop a company, you've got to bring in other resources and then you've got to trust these other resources and you have to help develop them. Most of the time they're also helping to develop you. So I think from my perspective, empowering the people I work with is the most critical component of being successful as a leader. That's awesome because I do think if they feel empowered, they can take the ball further down the field. Absolutely. What do you think is the one critical leadership tip you would have for someone starting out um, new to being a manager? I think it's um, often overlooked the value of really giving other people credit of really realizing that the only success you're going to have, the only real long-lasting big success you'll have is if you really care about the people you work with, you get to know them, and you don't have to become personal best friends with people you manage, but you need to be a person that they can come to, that they can be candid with, and that you can support. And I think more than anything else, it's so important to remember, it's really not about you. It's really about the team around you that makes something successful. And when you turn it inward, it's very, very limiting. And you just don't see long lasting success from people that can't view the world with the other people around them being the critical component of their success. Wow, that's interesting. I would lead me to ask you, what is the number one pitfall? So I understand taking the reverse of what you just said, but have you seen some qualities that you would immediately tell a new manager or even a seasoned manager, stop, don't do that. Absolutely, I think the um, small mindedness, allowing people to be critical of one another. I'm not a believer in the junkyard dog fight is how you get to the good people to run your company. I'm a believer in the, as I said, empowering people. So that small mindedness, the back talking, that whole um, political environment that can be created, I think it's really treacherous and dangerous and for a young manager in particularly, it's just a critical mistake. People are looking to you and your behavior. You set the tone, you have to set the right tone. Be kind, be good, be responsible and work really hard and people will follow your lead. And if they don't follow your lead, then maybe they're not the right people to work for you. So it sounds like empower, get to know your people and champion when you see excellent things being done. I hope you've enjoyed our conversation today. And Susan, I feel even more empowered after speaking with you. Good, thank you so much, Marcia. You're doing such a great work for all of us. We're so appreciative. Oh, my pleasure.